Nevin Sayre from the Windsurfing Task Force, and we're here in Hood River, Oregon for the Techno 293 National Championships. It's part of the United States Windsurfing Association National Championships. We have kids from all over the place. There's actually 25 kids all together in a couple different categories, Formula Racing, Techno 293. Uh, what we're really gearing up for is the Techno 293 events coming up. We have the North Americans coming up in San Francisco at St. Francis Yacht Club. Then followed by next year again at St. Francis will be the National Championships. In 2011, the Techno 293 World Championships at St. Francis. What that's going to mean is like 300 kids from all over the country, all over the world. Japan. Ireland, France, you know, you name it, they'll all be here. And can you imagine that on San Francisco Bay? These are under the age of 17, over 300 kids. So we're trying to get it to go together in the U.S. We're building up momentum. We've got some young kids out here racing. We're a couple kids who are 11, 12 years old. By the time that 2011 rolls around, they'll be ready right in the hunt. And so that's what we're building up here in the U.S., some more enthusiasm for the class, but generally just having fun. You know, kids really like sailing. Kids really like having these new forms of sailing, new school. Some of that's windsurfing, some of that's whatever, but not just the same old thing. It's new energy, new life, windsurfing, cool stuff. Kids love it. So, here we were in Hood River with four days of racing. It was super windy day, the first day, up to 40 knots and just too much for the young kids. So, we waited a day. The second day was still gusting up to 25, sometimes up to 30. So, we went out on the Techno 293s and did slalom, downwind, around the buoys, kind of like downhill skiing. Uh, through the slalom gates just like that and a lot of these kids were just crashing and burning the, at the beginning and by the end of the day they were keeping it together going around the marks and some of the kids who just said you know I've never made so many mistakes in my life but I had the best time of my life that that was just so gratifying to hear and the kids just had a great time so we did slalom the first day and then the next two day we had course racing in a whole range of conditions from some light air sometimes getting as low as five knots to up to 20 plus and uh, we had some great racing in all the different age groups there's under 12 under 15 under 17 and in this country we have under 19 as well and um, you know girls guys almost an equal number between girls and guys by the way and uh, it was just really fun uh, top finishers were in the under-19 age division with Solve Serre. Uh, under-17, Austin Emser from, from let's see, uh, I think St. Pete, Florida. And in the under-15, we combined the under-12 and under-15, and it was Rasmus Serre from Vineyard Haven, Massachusetts.